China's newest amphibious assault ship, the Type 076 Sichuan, appears to have begun testing its electromagnetic aircraft launch system. This vessel, which is China's first new generation Type 076 amphibious assault ship, is believed to be testing its catapult system. Reports on Chinese social media suggest that the most advanced amphibious warship, the Sichuan, is undergoing systems testing. Type 076 Sichuan Overview The Type 076 Sichuan is an amphibious assault ship that combines characteristics of a drone carrier and an assault ship. It is larger than the preceding Type 075 amphibious assault ship and is designed to blur the line between a carrier and an assault ship. The ship has an estimated full load displacement of 50,000 tons. Its length ranges from 252.3 meters to 260 meters overall, and its beam is between 45 meters and 52 meters. The Sichuan has a full-length flight deck, an internal hangar, and two large aircraft elevators. It is also equipped with a stern well dock, which allows for the deployment of amphibious vehicles for landing operations. The vessel can carry over 1,000 Marines and has a significant number of internal hangars. The ship was launched on December 27, 2024, with the pennant number 51. Electromagnetic Catapult System Testing The Type 076 Sichuan has reportedly completed its initial tests with the Electromagnetic Catapult System, EMALS, installed on its flight deck. Images circulating on social media showed the covers removed from the Type 076 electric launch catapult, and a radar system appeared to have been installed leading to speculation that the ship was ready for trials. A no-entry zone was designated by the Shanghai Maritime Safety Administration from October 20th to October 29th for underwater activities, directly in front of the shipyard where the Sichuan is being fitted out. This advanced electromagnetic catapult launch system is a key asset for the PLA Navy's unmanned aerial vehicle operations, leading to the Sichuan often being described as the world's first drone carrier capabilities and strategic importance. The Sichuan is equipped with a catabar, catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery system, featuring an electromagnetic catapult and arresting gears for operating light fixed-wing aircraft, likely unmanned combat aerial vehicles such as the GJ-1. This system allows for the launch of heavier aircraft, extending their range and payload capacity, which includes more ammunition, missiles, and fuel. The U.S. Department of Defense and the Center for Strategic and International Studies have indicated the potential for the Sichuan to be used as a large drone platform. Analysts suggest that if its air wing is limited to unmanned systems, the Type 076 could be very powerful, potentially operating advanced drones like the GJ-11 Stealth Combat Drone and the WZ-7 Reconnaissance Drone. The ship can also accommodate various helicopters, including the Chinese Z-9, Z-18, and Z-20, as well as Russian Ka-28 and Ka-31 models. This capability makes the Sichuan suitable for special operations forces, serving as a mothership for unmanned aircraft in air, surface, and underwater operations. The Type 076 ships are expected to play a significant role in any potential military conflict involving Taiwan as Beijing considers Taiwan part of China and has not ruled out the use of force for reunification. Comparison with Fujian Aircraft Carrier The electromagnetic catapult system on the Type 076 Sichuan is similar in size to the one mounted on China's Type 003 aircraft carrier, the Fujian. The Fujian is China's first indigenously designed aircraft carrier and its first capable of catabar operations, using EMALs for launching aircraft. Fujian's EMALS is powered by a medium-voltage direct current integrated power system, which is stated to be more reliable than the AC-based EMALS of the USS Gerald R. Ford Class On September 22, 2025, Chinese state media released footage of the Fujian conducting electromagnetic catapult launch tests with J-15T, J-35, and KJ-600 aircraft. This marked the first publicly announced use of EMALS with a fifth-generation fighter, like J-35, on an aircraft carrier. Electromagnetic catapults offer advantages over traditional steam-powered systems, being more reliable, resetting faster, and providing more powerful launches.